let's this question from Kalina. Um, what is your own notion of success and fulfillment? Um, she was in, inspired by DHS, um, DHH's post earlier this month. Uh, so I want to hear the contrasts and similarities. Yeah, thank you for that question. I think that's a really important one because I think a lot of people, a lot of people's definition of, of success is written by others. Um, and they're trying to live up to some ideal that someone else set. My definition of success is pretty simple, which is, do I want to do this same thing again tomorrow, basically? Do I want to do this again? Would I want to do this again? And that doesn't mean there aren't crappy days, because there are, and some days, some weeks I dread, you know, it happens, right? But for the most part, it's like, um, and there's even bad months, right? But But for the most part, it's like, do I want to do this again? Do I enjoy doing this? Is this something that's fulfilling to me personally? Not about keeping score necessarily, right? Um, it's just about like, would I wanna do this over? Would I wanna do this again? And my answer would be absolutely yes. And until it's not, then maybe I, I decided, you know, until it's not enough, then I decide that maybe I wanna do something else. But um, now also, to be fair, um, I've reached a certain level of financial independence uh, at this point where I have a little bit more flexibility to have a broader view on success and I, I'm self-aware enough to, to admit to admit that, um, but I I think that I've always felt that chasing a number is is a bad thing to chase. Numbers are not good things to chase, in my opinion. Um, I, I think you should chase more personal fulfillment, things that make you feel full inside, uh, and 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 sort of lead to you. Because the thing is, is that um, if you again, if you get good at figuring out what those things are, you'll have those your whole life. And if you only get good at chasing numbers and looking at numbers as your goalposts, there's going to come a point in your life where numbers may not matter as much anymore. And then you're lost. You right. know? And what do you do? And so um, I think it's important to, to figure out from within what, what drives you and what's important to you. And once you find that stuff out, then, you, then I think it's a lot easier actually to feel successful. That's great. That's a great answer to that. Um, and by the way, David's post, I think you're referring to this post called day I became a millionaire or something like that, if that's if that's the post. It's a great, great, that or reconsider, I'm not sure which posts. If you guys go on Google or Medium, actually these are both on Medium, and you search for reconsider, or you search for like the day I became a millionaire, these are the two posts that David wrote, which are in the same line of thinking, and they're wonderful reads. I, I encourage you guys to check them out. That's great, absolutely.